Hello, I'm Roshka Hasseldine. I'm a mother-daughter therapist and coach, and I've worked with thousands of mothers and daughters from many different countries and cultures over the last 25 years. I'm the author of two books, The Silent Female Scream and The Mother-Daughter Puzzle, and I've created the Mother-Daughter Coaching International Training Organization, where we teach courses for therapists and coaches on how to work with mothers and daughters and understand the underlying dynamics between mothers and daughters and to certify as a mother-daughter coach. Mothers being jealous of their daughter is a topic that comes up often, particularly not just between mothers and daughters, but therapists and coaches ask me how to identify this and how to understand that dynamic. The first thing I want to say, though, is that I understand as a daughter how hard it is and how hurtful it is when your mother is jealous of you. Um, my mum really struggled to celebrate any of my achievements. Um, and years ago, when I graduated with the Bachelor of Education, um, from the University of Canterbury in Christchurch, New Zealand, which where I was living, uh, she really, really struggled to celebrate that moment in my life. I know she turned up to the ceremony, but she left directly afterwards, never and didn't, and deliberately didn't meet up with me to celebrate afterwards. And it was very rarely mentioned after after that day. Uh, and I so I know how hurtful it is. The second thing I want to say, though, is that blaming mums for being jealous is not the way forward. In fact, it makes it worse. It also reduces any ability to understand what is what this is about. Paula Kaplan writes um, in her absolute brilliant book, the new Don't Blame Mother about um, this and many other topics and how, how, you know, mother blaming is rife within society, but also within many human development and attachment theory, um, human development theories and attachment theory within the counseling and psychotherapy um, world. So blaming mom for feeling this very, very human emotion of jealousy is absolutely the wrong thing to do. And it's also because it, it actually brings no understanding and no closure and no healing. Um, being jealous of someone is human. It, it, we've all experienced it. When someone has something or experienced something that we would like to have or desire, we feel jealous. It's human to feel jealous. So what I have actually discovered through my work with mothers and daughters is that mothers being jealous of their daughters is actually about grief. It's about the grief that mothers can experience when their daughter has something or experiences something or can achieve something that they desired but society, the society that they lived in and the family that they lived in didn't allow them to achieve it or to experience it or to even want it. So coming back to my mom, I don't know what her unfulfilled dreams were, but I suspect on that day when I graduated, she was grieving what she never got to be and what she never got to have. And this can be in the daughter's job promotion in terms of bringing up for the mom her career options and desires and opportunities that she never got to have because she wasn't supported enough to have it or wasn't allowed to have it in her during her generation. It can be about the daughter experiencing some, some love from her partner or from the father, which brings up grief about maybe the love that the mother has not experienced from her husband and from other people in her life.
So understanding what it's like to be in the mother's shoes, understanding more about why she might be feeling jealous of the daughter, What's miss, what has been missing for her is the way forward. Thanks for listening. If you would like more information about training, um, go to motherdaughtercoach.com. If you are looking for a therapist, there's a Find a Coach page where the graduates of my um, certification uh, training course are listed. Thanks a lot. Remember, mothers and daughters are powerful.